Alright guys and welcome to another video. So if you delve into the depths of strange and unpopular MMOs in the industry, you discover some that are actually very similar to World of Warcraft, and not just similar in the way that a game like Rift was kind of similar to World of Warcraft, but a step further than that. There's MMOs out there that are direct World of Warcraft clones. They copy character models from WoW, but change them a little bit. They copy entire zones, themes, spell icons, and sound effects. And it's a wonder how these developers got away with it, to be honest, because it really feels like copying the smart kids' homework at school and changing a few words here and there to make it look original. These clones started to pop up during the golden age peak of World of Warcraft and the MMO market in general, before MOBAs and Battle Royale games took over the industry. This was during the Wrath of the Lich King era, and obviously many developers thought it would be a good idea to quickly try and make some Wonga by making their own MMOs. But I guess some were just too lazy to come up with their own ideas or wanted to trick the audience by making their MMOs nearly identical to World of Warcraft. To be fair, due to the success of World of Warcraft, most MMOs out today are essentially soft World of Warcraft clones because they copied all the systems from WoW, created a unique selling point like dialogue windows, multi-classes, player housing, etc. But they just use their own art style. But we're going to be looking at the ones that were shameless enough to not even really make their own art style. I actually managed to find seven World of Warcraft clones which are a mixture of MMOs on PC but also turn-based RPG games for Android and iPhone. And this mobile game we're looking at is just beyond stupid. It is really quite funny how much they copied World of Warcraft, we'll get to that later on. Let's have a little look at our first candidate on the list, Eternal Magic. Now the hilarious part about this game is that it directly copies exact layouts of World of Warcraft Battlegrounds. Couldn't find any actual footage of the Arafi base in BG which would probably be more recognisable to most people. But if you concentrate enough on the footage I'm showing you right now, it's exactly the same as the Twin Peaks Battleground released in Cataclysm. And it really doesn't stop there, there are sound effects that are exact copies from World of Warcraft, the enemies in the opening zone look very similar to the Vrykul from World of Warcraft, you know, from Wrath of Lich King zones. Plus some of the spell icons are nearly identical, or at least very similar, and the funny thing is that I actually found a spell icon package from the Unity Asset Store that looked identical to the magic icons in Eternal Magic. Secondly, we have the more well-known MMO called Runes of Magic. I actually remember playing this years and years ago, and it doesn't take long before you start to notice the very obvious similarities to World of Warcraft, especially since one of the first quests that you do is to go into a cave to kill kobolds, exactly like the human starting area. Even the UI when accepting quests looks very similar. The item icons, in fact, also look very similar. It looks like you're playing with... Or it looks like you're playing World of Warcraft, but with a UI overhaul, or a certain LV UI skin. And this goes for the spell icons and the mini-map. The only thing that looks fairly different is actually the portrait frames, and that's actually the worst looking part of Runes of Magic UI. For a while, this was considered the best WoW clone out there for people who, you know, couldn't afford paying the subscription for World of Warcraft. But as time went on, it did eventually start to become a bit more of a unique game, especially with its class mixing system but it still was extremely similar to World of Warcraft. The real downfall of this MMO though was actually that it just didn't work. Because the game has a lot of crash issues. Now I'm paraphrasing from a Joss Strife podcast here, but I'm pretty sure he said that the game was just pretty broken from the ground up because it didn't utilise your PC's RAM correctly, something along those lines anyway. And when I was watching an old Lazy Peon video of him doing his first impressions of Runes of Magic, it did come up with some kind of error saying that, well, something to do with his RAM. Next we have Alods Online, which is basically just a more cartoon version of World of Warcraft. This doesn't even try to disguise the fact that it's a WoW copy by having Asian MMO styled characters and models and emo haircuts. The first funny thing I found was a picture of a train on the main website that looks very similar to the Grim Rail Depot dungeon from Walls of Draenor. They could have at least changed the background environment of whatever this train is about to look different than it does from Gorgron from World of Warcraft because it just looks identical. And again, with the other MMOs, the UI is very, very similar. There's even a murloc looking mob in the game. Entire zones look similar when you play this game, and it feels 
just exactly like playing World of Warcraft. Another weird feature is how you can actually auto-move to quest locations in this game. Like, you never actually have to do any walking yourself. You can autopilot all the way through the game, but then disengage your autopilot occasionally to go into combat and kill a mob. There's almost like no point even playing this game. You could tab out and just watch Netflix the whole time you're completing quests. So yeah, there's no wonder why this game didn't really get any success. Another obscure mention would be Algonon Online. I mean, just look at this menu where you train skills. It's exactly how it was in World of Warcraft. From looking at reviews of this game, it's pretty shocking. It plays horribly, it looks horrible, the sound design sounds robotic. And to believe that this game actually launched as a World of Warcraft clone with a subscription model back in the day. There's no wonder this one got cancelled very, very quickly. And lastly, I want to talk about this mobile game that copied World of Warcraft so intently that they actually just flat out just got sued by Blizzard. And the game was called Glorious Saga. This one really is stupid, like I said before. I mean, the front cover of a game looks exactly like the BFA or Warcraft games, with two good and evil characters staring each other off. It's really, really, really cringy. But in this case, it's actually King Varian Rin and Gromash Hellscream. In fact, all of the main characters from World of Warcraft are copied into this game, like Vogin, Sylvanas, Gul'dan. It wasn't even really trying to conceal the fact that it was copying WoW. The sounds were all the same when you accept quests. The spell icons look exactly the same, like you can see. Like you can see here, the Warlock has Fairy Fire, Dark Intent, and I think, is it Hand of Gul'dan? That's like a retail ability that, you know, I've not played retail for years. I mean, it's so obvious that it just makes you wonder what was going through the minds of the developers of this game. Like, how did they expect to remotely get away with doing this? And there you go, guys. That is the weird world of World of Warcraft copies. My name is Goblin. To the next video, ciao.